going on? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the most uncomplicated path to six figures as an affiliate marketer. Before we rock that out, if you look on screen right now, it says watch time from subscribers. How many people have subscribed due to people who are watching? 50.7% of you have been subscribing, which is fantastic because this started when I first started this channel, which was only last month, right? Uh, we're up to like the 75% um, mark of people who haven't subscribed, right? Now we're down to 49.3% who haven't subscribed. So if you're watching this right now, and this is your first time, hit subscribe if you want to and if you want to support, right? I'm gonna get, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have that. There's no point subscribing if you're not getting value out of something, right? But if you've returned and you're watching this and this is a returning video for you, which means that you've got value out the first one, what are you doing? I'm asking you to subscribe and just hit one button. You're lazy. And if I'm being honest with you, I think you're a bit of a prick. I've said it. Like, I'm literally asking you to subscribe to help us out. I'm giving you value. That's the way the exchange works, guys. So smash that subscribe button for me. And if you're offended by that, don't watch any more of my videos, please. Uh, just a little bit of fun. But yeah, help us out. Subscribe. Um, right. The most uncomplicated pathway to six figures as an affiliate marketer. Right, we've really got to like, I want you to pay attention to this. This is going to be fast paced. This isn't going to be like a half hour video, right? This is going to be really fast paced, okay? As an affiliate marketer, okay, you've got so many different methods and so many different people saying different things, right? You have to, you have to, and you have to take responsibility for this. You have to be logical and you have to have common sense about what you're doing, right? If you think that someone in this space, make money online space, you're coming into it, you're trying to make money online, let's say you're in the high ticket affiliate marketing space, right? And if you think that you, without any results, right, and no income, like no outcome, like no outcome being achieved, so no income in the make money online space, if you think that you can like break free from the noise of the tens, hundreds, and thousands of other people who are branding themselves as the solution, uh, creating content, moving those people into a funnel, uh, into emails, following up by email marketing, maybe doing some AI stuff, getting yourself on videos and reels, just like the tens, hundreds of thousands of other people who are doing that same thing. If you think that's going to guarantee you that level of cash and that level of traction, not just for you, but for the people who you're trying to help, because sometimes people just think so selfishly about what they're doing. You're not in just business for yourself. I don't really care if you say to me, and I have this uh, sometimes with people, they say, look, I'm in no rush of like generating cash. Okay, so so you don't want to help people. Like uh, that's the vibe I'm getting. So you don't actually want to help people make money, right? If you believe that your opportunity helps people generate cash, then you need to be in a freaking rush to start generating some cash because that's the way you help people. Like, I hate that attitude of like this attitude where you don't take responsibility for it and you're not all in on running your business. What stupid freaking attitude to have. Like, seriously, you need to start having a bit more of urgency in regards to what you're doing because there's people out there, your audience, who you want to help who aren't generating cash online, right? But if you think you're going to generate cash and you think your audience is going to generate cash by literally doing the same stuff as everyone else, get your head out from the clouds, have some freaking common sense and lose your freaking ego. Like it's all ego based. Like all of it's ego based. Yes, you can listen to someone who might know more than you, right? But it's your decision to actually listen to that and go, hang about. Let me just think about this marketplace for two freaking moments. Like, why am I branding myself as someone who helps other people make money when I haven't made money myself? Why am I creating content about stuff I don't feel comfortable about and confident about? Why am I creating being told to share my story, share my private life and be vulnerable? Like I'm Russell Brunson, like I'm Jordan Belfort, like I'm Tony Robbins. Like, sorry, no, like you don't have to do all of these things that other people are doing in order just to generate cash. Come on. Think about it, right? I used to run cold calling centers for a living. People didn't know who the frick I was when I used to be on the phone. And within 10 minutes, I'm phoning up a stranger and they're giving me their bank deals over the phone. Yet you come online and like people are literally spending months and years trying to share their, like bear their soul, share their story. Like literally the most private stuff in the world they're sharing because they just want people to trust them. Sorry, there's something wrong with your method of doing this if that is what you have to do. Like, sorry, that is just the case. Okay, so let me tell you what you have to do. Number one, you've got to lose your freaking ego. 
Okay, let me just move myself out here. Number one, lose your ego. Would help if I was actually writing. Number one, lose your ego. Number two, have common sense and think logically. Number three, remove the idea that you have to do have to do content, build funnels, do emails, right? And then number four, your method needs to be the most efficient way for people to generate cash. The most efficient way, right? Again, logic, common sense. Number one is by people not having to do too many things, right? Logical, right? If, uh, if I had to make a roast dinner, fish and chips, a pizza and a burger, well then, yeah, that's like the quality of all of those things is probably going to suffer. If I was just told to make a pizza within the same time frame, my pizza would be hell of a lot better than me focusing on four different dishes, right? So like if I'm having to focus on content, building funnels, share my story, my vulnerability, all of that stuff when I haven't even generated the outcome, emails, all of that stuff, talking about inbox deliverability, all of that stuff, then yeah, it doesn't make sense for me to do that, right? It doesn't make sense for me to give that to someone else to start doing either, right? Too many things, right? So if you're not promoting something that is the most efficient way to achieve the outcome, then I'd question why you're promoting that thing, right? If you're having to wait months and like weeks, days, weeks and months, like many months, maybe years to just get some traction, I'm questioning what you're doing. Like, because I have a solution that gets people up and running so much quicker and makes people money quicker. So it's like, logically, I don't even care if you've invested into something, like logically, guys, logically, you have to look at this stuff, right? So for me, the most efficient way is for people to not do any of number three and to just focus on lead generation in DMs. So that's how I've made my six figures, right? My multiple six figures, sorry. My first six figures were just done through focusing on DMs, right? Just that. Now I've built out a whole program where, again, when they first, people first join me, they don't put any major focus into branding, they don't do content, build funnels, do emails, they just focus on lead generation, DMs, send those DMs to me, like those leads to me, and I close those leads into sales. That's how it works, okay? That's literally how it works. I also do the emails for everyone, the content for everyone, because when people bring people into my world, yes, they see these other elements, you know, and that's how it works. So it's really simplistic for the affiliate, really simplistic, and that's very, very important, right? So uh, people follow my five-step DM framework to bring leads into me, and I close them. I had someone the other day go... Uh, <laughs> Like, what, so you you close, why don't you teach people to close the sale? Because you close the sale and you take half half of my money? No, sorry, you've got this completely wrong, mate. I take $498.50, which is 50% of what someone would get. Um, so they get four nine eight fifty. I get four nine eight fifty. Please bear in mind, the product is something that I've created and I fulfill. So the opportunity, the value inside of the product has value to it. I've created that. The coaching calls have value to it. I deliver those coaching calls. The support, I deliver that stuff. I close the sale. So yes, I'm definitely warranted $498.50, right? And yes, do I teach people how to close sales? Yes, but everything is done in stages. Like, I'm not sitting here and I'm not going like, do you know what? The most efficient way is to do lead generation in DMs. And then guess what? I'm also going to add in this, 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 and this to make it so much more complex for you and overwhelm you with information. Everything is done in stages, right? Like everything. It's just that how you perceive affiliate marketing and how other gurus talk about different stuff is they think they should just throw everything at you. Like, and that's the thing. Like people are people who have no clue of what they are doing are talking about how to create offers. It's just mad. You shouldn't be thinking about that stuff. You're just going to overwhelm you. you. Like, you, you will. Like, 100%. So, then, uh, you focus on 
generating high quality leads through DMs, through my five step DM framework, which is all taught in my program. And we generate cash together as I close those leads into sales. Okay, you can generate six figures from that. Okay, you can generate six figures just through focusing on that piece. Now, some things that people might want to do at this point, which they do do, they start outsourcing some of their DMs, right? So they want things to be a little bit more passive. So they start focusing on teaching someone else for, say, $150 a month from maybe like the Philippines. Uh, and they focus their attention on those people and just managing those people for $150. They're still generating leads, they're still generating sales. That's something that someone wants to do, right? Cool, perfect. The DM Academy sets out for that. If that person generates high quality leads and they're doing it consistently, and they're like, James, I wanna learn about sales, then I teach them about how to close the sale. I provide them with the links, like in terms of payment links, one-time payment, uh, multiple payment plan links, and I teach them how that works. I'll provide that to them so they can close the sales themselves, okay? Like that can happen. So um, outsource and manage um, DMs. I think that's freaking awesome way of doing stuff, like the outsourcing and managing DMs. Um, I could also want to learn how to sell. So I teach them and provide payment links. That's a level up. Right, a level up, not useful at the beginning, but a level up at the right time. We've got people who I'm working with on that. The next level up from that um, is also, well, this actually would be number eight. So move eight and nine about. So content creation, branding, uh, even emails. Like I will help with content creation, branding emails, because at that point, you're not creating content like everyone else. You've actually developed your skill set. You actually know how this stuff works. You've built confidence around it. Suddenly, you've got something more interesting to talk about. You're not talking about the importance of a mentor. You're talking about the importance of why ARQ is important in DM conversations, how the five-step DM framework has helped you out in this specific conversation. You start in building insight and exposure around like what you actually do in your business as opposed to stuff that is just airy-fairy topics and themes that have been said before by people who haven't achieved a result. Very different type of content creation, right? Same thing with the branding. You can be so much more unique with the way in which you go about it. Now, these, these elements here can be end goals for someone. Just doing the DMs, lead generation, end goal for someone. Then outsourcing it to someone, imagine it, end goal for someone. Uh, it could be then, oh, I want to create, uh, and I'll, I'll change this around myself, right? just so that we've got it nicely here. Um, there we go. Um, content creation, yeah, fine. Uh, could also wanna then learn how to sell at that point. Great, at that opportunity to do that. Like, and then, I mean, I'm working with people on this right now, uh, free offer and product created. They might want to get to a place where they want to create their own free offer and their own product. Again, not offering that to people who ain't generating sales. I'm not offering that to people who don't want to take things further. I'm not offering that on day one. Why would I? Like, you might want that. But I don't care what you want. I'm going to give you what you need. That is the difference. And here in this industry, so many people are thinking about what they want, like deep down the line. But they're not. They don't give a crap about the journey of getting there. And that's where they make mistakes. They're freaking greedy. The freaking greedy and what they perceive as being valuable is not valuable for them on day one. You need to strip this crap away. You shouldn't be focusing on funnels, emails, doing content, focusing on branding if you haven't generated a dime online or you're struggling to generate consistent numbers. Make it simple for yourself because you're making it simple then for your audience. Like, And that's valuable. Focus on DMs, focus on lead generation, focus on what we teach in the academy. I close those leads, yeah? You might want to outsource it and just say, hey, do you know what, James? Like, I'm happy with my life now. Like, I'm happy with the money I'm generating. Cool. You rock that out. Next piece, if not, then, yeah, I want to do some content creation. Cool. That's the right time to do it once you start generating money. Right time to do it. Also, then, you might want to be like, I actually want to learn how to sell, too. Cool. Right time to do it because you've developed all the skill sets that are needed to a certain bit to add a new skill set into the mix. Cool. And then once you've done that, then it's like, cool, free offer and product. You want to do that? Cool. You're, you're at prime time to do that. 
So you can generate six figures through any of those levels, right? It's just a case of how much you want to give to yourself moving forward. But I will never, ever be offering people stuff that they don't need, even if they want it. What you need right now is to learn lead generation. Because if you don't know how to do lead generation, you can't make sales. If you can't generate consistent leads, you can't generate sales consistently. So why are you talking about sales when you don't, you're not good at lead generation? Why are you focusing on talking to people about making money online when you don't freaking know how to do it yourself? That's not cool. That's unethical. That's immoral. Stop doing that. Start focusing your attention on DMs because how we go about DMs, you're never talking to people about how to make money online. We go about it in a really cool, interesting way, which protects you, which is really important. So that is the uncomplicated path to generating six figures as an affiliate instead of what you're doing now. You're thrown in the deep end, you don't know what you're doing, and you're swimming with tens, hundreds, and thousands of other people doing the same thing. And the thing that keeps you going probably is community. And community is cool, right? But when it's filled up with people who are also struggling and you're just being positive for the sake of being positive, I say, take a step back, have some common sense, be logical about what you're doing, and actually care about what you're offering people. If you're in no hurry of making sales, guess what? You ain't helping anyone. And then I question why you're even in business in the first place. And if you have got urgency to achieve results, then look at exactly what you're doing and start questioning what you're doing. This process here is exactly what I did back in the day. And I created all of this stuff myself. I just added it on layers and layers. And now I believe I've got the best opportunity for affiliates to generate cash for themselves and more importantly, for their audience that they're trying to attract. You can join the DM Academy. You can get more info about it by looking at the description here. You've got an opportunity to message me. You can understand more info. If you're ready to join the DM Academy, you can enroll straight into it, whether it's a one-time payment all the way down to four-part payment plan. Go and do it. Like, live a little, right? Embrace something different, like, that is more logical and has more common sense than what you're doing right now. Up until next time, stay safe. Hit that subscribe button. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.